There's a ton of self-improvement books out there, but which ones are the best? I'm gonna talk about my five favorite self-improvement books that have helped me tremendously along my journey up to this point, and I'm gonna share with you my favorites and let you guys know how they've helped me. So, let's get into it. So what's up guys, still laid up a little bit, got my crutches over here, you can't see them, but hey, we're still managing to stay productive and get some things accomplished. So the reason I bring up this, this topic about self-improvement books is because it was actually brought up in my previous video. I had a viewer comment, what are some books that actually helped me through my tough times and were the most beneficial self-improvement books that I've seen? So shout out to you for asking the question. I'm gonna just share with you my favorites. Um, these are in no particular order. All of these are really great books and they kind of cover a multitude of different things. So you're gonna get a ton of value out of these books in many different ways. So I'm just gonna start off top with the one that is in the top of my mind right now. It's called Atomic Habits by James Clear. Absolutely amazing book. That is one of the more recent books that I have, have that I've finished. And the main idea behind that book is essentially just how to eliminate bad habits, how to implement good habits, and how to go about really making the lasting change that that you notice a difference. We look at habits, and that's a big part of what I teach and what I talk about here on the channel. To, to maintain a habit or to start a good habit, you have to make it easy, visible, rewarding, and I believe the last one was sustainable or something like that. And that's how you really go about creating a good habit. So if you wanna avoid habits, you wanna knock a bad habit, you have to do the inverse of that. You make it hard, you make it out of sight, you make it displeasing and you make it hard to maintain. Essentially, that's the formula that you follow. The book highlights this in a very, very easy way. And you'll get a lot out of this book besides just habit building. It's a mindset thing as well. Um, highly, highly recommend you check that book out. The second book that I want to talk about is actually called Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin. Now, this book is phenomenal. It was written by two former Navy SEALs. Jocko is one of the bigger ones. He has a podcast. I believe he makes content as well. Dude is a badass. And this is a really, really, really good book. And it highlights extreme ownership. And it's a it's a big mindset shift that, that happened for me because this book really talks about taking accountability and being responsible for everything that happens in your life. It really kind of fo loosely follows the chain of command that these guys followed in the military, but it's a great mindset to use in your everyday life because it just helps you stay on top of things. You know, you don't make excuses. You don't just feel sorry for yourself. And a lot of what that book talks about, I'm kind of implementing now through my injury and having to go through the, the roadblocks of having a setback. You know, I'm not gonna make excuses. I'm gonna take ownership of what's happening and I'm gonna move forward with positivity and with productivity. So that book is is really, really, really important for every guy to read because, you know, it, a part of what masculinity is about is taking responsibility. You know, is being accountable, is being a leader. And that book really highlights those attributes. And I think you'll get a lot out of it once you start to dive into the book. The third book I want to talk about here is How to Be a 3% Man by Corey Wayne. Now, this was the book for me that essentially started it all. Um, if you've looked at some of my older videos on this channel, you notice I've talked about Corey Wayne in length on this channel. He was one of my original mentors that really got me into self-improvement and got me on this path essentially. A lot of what I talk about is, and what I model myself after is a lot of his early work. Uh, and that book was like a staple in, in my development. And really what the, that book talks about is mainly purpose, mainly um, you know masculine feminine dynamics, how to communicate with women, how to go about your life as a man. It's super, super valuable. And um, just like Corey says, read it 10 to 15 times so you, really enhance that information and you really can can understand it. I read that I think 11 times or so. I might reread it here in the future, but um, it's one that I always come back to because the, the information in there is solid. The principles still hold up today, even though it was written, um, I wanna say in the early 2000s, I think. Um, guy knows what he's talking about. He's had a very great platform and a sustainable career for a long time. That was one of the first times I've actually heard the word purpose and self-improvement. All these terms were like very, very new to me. Masculine energy, feminine energy, all these different things. That kind of led me towards another book, um, which is also one of my favorites. 
um, Way of the Superior Man. I'm not going to get too much into that book because I'm not going to talk about that one specifically today, but amazing book. Those two kind of go hand in hand. I recommend both of them um, in a big way. The fourth book I want to talk about here is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Another staple, another must read for anybody getting into self-improvement. This one is mainly about networking, how to communicate, how to really influence people, obviously the name of the book. Uh, and it really does help because it teaches you the importance of listening, of asking good questions, of being present. You would think it's all about styles of communication and ways to talk and ways to, to say things. It's more about listening. It's more about understanding the other person. But that's how you build rapport. And that's how you naturally start to build influence and persuasion through that because you get people to invest in you. It's, it's an older book. I think it was written in the late 1800s, but it still holds up today. I mean, all the principles in there still make sense. It's kind of an evergreen book. You're always going to get um, some kind of information from that. It's going to apply in all times throughout history, uh, just human behavior and human psychology. It's a really, really good book about just understanding people and knowing how to communicate. Fifth and final book that I want to talk about today is King Warrior Magician Lover. Now this, I believe this was written by Robert Green. I could be wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. Written by Douglas Gillette and Robert L. Moore. I had to look that one up. But yeah, another great book. This one talks about the four masculine archetypes that exist. And it really, if you break it down, even today, this still makes sense. There really does fall into different categories of the masculine. It's not just one thing. Um, being a warrior, being a magician, being a lover, being a king. Obviously, there's different aspects to each one of these. But I do believe that all men possess this, especially when you step into your mature masculinity, you kind of embody a lot of these characteristics. It's a really good read. Um, one that is more on the spiritual side, one that's more um, ambiguous with some of the terms, but it's valuable. And I think if you go into it with an open mind start, and start to understand some of the concepts in there, you'll see that it actually makes a lot of sense. It'll really help you out self-improvement wise. You'll, you'll start to see yourself as more of a whole, well-rounded man. That's kind of my main message on this channel. Not just being one way and just being like aggressive and go, go, go. Even though that is part of my branding, it is being more balanced. That's kind of the main message with my particular brand is being a balanced man. That book really highlights that. I highly recommend it. I think if you start with these five, that's a great um, beginning starter pack to self-improvement. I have a lot more books that I have read. If you see here in the background, I got a whole bookshelf, basically read all of these books here. I have some more over on my counter that I haven't finished yet. Uh, I like to read and uh, specifically I like to read books that are going to teach me something or going to get me further along my path and mainly the areas that I'm trying to grow right now, business, social, um, relationships, uh, income, things like that, fitness, anything, you know, I try to, I try to learn, I try to learn things that are going to directly help me as soon as I'm done reading. Right now I'm getting into audiobooks. I haven't really done that too much in the past, uh, but right now I'm reading Alex Hormozzi's book, $100 million leads, $100 million offers, kind of doing those two books at once. And I'm also reading Evolutionary Psychology by Dr. David M. Buss. That's another great book. It's very lengthy and it's just chocked full of information. So I like to read and I wanted to share some of my favorite self-improvement books just because someone mentioned that. And I wanted to give you guys some resources to learn because I think it's always good to, to gain different perspectives from different places and uh, these are great places to start. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below. Let me know if any of these you've read or ones that you're, are your favorites that I missed. I'm always down to talk about some new readings and getting into books like that. Make sure you hit subscribe if you like learning information about your identity as a masculine man, improving the quality of your lifestyle and the quality of your relationships. And if you wanna work with me personally about anything that I just mentioned and getting further along your self-improvement journey, and you want that one-on-one -on -one coaching in your corner to help you do so click the link down below and we will set up a free consultation and talk about your goals that's it man i'm gonna get going and hopefully i catch you in the next video remember man at the end of the day it truly all does start with you peace out man <laughs>